Hey guys, I decided to do a video today on a parallel setting two LV5048 inverters. Uh, this is a diagram off of the PDF file, owner's manual for these inverters. This is on the page 36. This is the way they need to be set up if you want them to work in a parallel. Batteries, if you have one pack or two pack or three pack, doesn't matter. They both have to be hooked up to both units at the same time. Even a single battery, 48 volt, single battery pack at 48 volt needs to be hooked up to both positive and both negative terminals of each inverter. Same thing goes for the supply from a utility and same has to be for the output off of the inverters. All lines have to be in parallel, so to say. So, down on this portion is a communication connection. So, if you are looking at your inverters hanging up on the wall from the bottom side, on the left you will see your first inverter and on the right your second inverter. You had two parallel ports on the right side of the inverter. Inside two has to be connected together and the outside two has to be connected together. Okay, these things need to be done prior to turning on units and commissioning the system. Now, let's take a look and see how that looks like in on the units themselves which are installed on the wall. All right. All right, let's start from the uh, distributor panel over here. I have each fuse labeled as to which inverter it goes to. So inverter one and inverter two. If we take a step back, we will see both of the inverters. Label this one inverter one. Label this one inverter two. Okay, and now Let's take a look underneath for actual practical setup. In actuality, you do not use... Here's the practical setup. Two parallel cables hooked up to inverter number one and two parallel cables hooked up to inverter number two. In addition, I'm using the USB connection from this unit, inverter number two, to computer to read data and assess how the system is doing. In addition to necessary connections between two inverters, parallel ID must be set on each inverter. So let's look at this diagram over here in owner's manual. So I set up my inverter one on the dip switches. I left them all off. So one, two, and three are left in the off position for a parallel ID of zero. For the unit number two, I turned the first switch to the on position. I left other two off and of course number four is not being used and it's left in the off position for a parallel id of one now let's take a look and see how that works on the uh, inverters themselves so here's the parallel id setup for the inverter number one as you can see all four of them are in the off position as shown on the diagram in the owner's manual and this is inverter number one. Now, this is inverter number two, and only one switch is in the own position as prescribed in the owner's manual for the parallel ID. One is on, two and three are off, and of, of course four is not used and it's left in the off position for inverter number two. Now, that we have both units physically connected together. 
parallel switches, a parallel ID switch is set in the proper mode and the communication cables hooked up properly. We do have to set up menu items on the inverters themselves properly. Otherwise, you can cause a damage or inverter most likely will give you an error code. Now, the way I did it might not be exactly as to what it says in the book, but I turn on one unit, okay? And then I went on to a program. I went, entered the uh, programming menu. I went to the program number 28 and and then I turned off the unit inverter number one and when you flip the switch to turn the unit off it still stays on for some time that gives you a time to change a programming under menu item number 28 to my setting and my setting is split phase 240 volt setup between the unit so going to menu number 28 I changed the programming output to 2A2 I hit um, I programmed it and I let it turn off by itself I did the same thing for the inverter number two I have turned it on then turned it off went into the programming menu number 28 and I changed the output output of unit 4 split phase 240 volt setup to a 2 after that unit shut down after finishing that I immediately turned on both switches on both units at the same time and let them boot up after finishing the boot up process the menu change LCD change to what you see right now it has AC input of 120 A2 120 exactly as it is on this picture right now here it is how it looks like right now when you have it set up properly to work in parallel mode split phase setup on these units I got to say one more time that it's very important to read this manual from first to last page in order to uh, set up these units to work correctly they are very expensive and um, if you don't know what you're doing you can create problems burn these units up, catch your house on fire and whatnot. So when doing this, please do read this manual from first to last page. And uh, it took me about two times reading all these different settings to set it up properly to work in a parallel mode in split phase 240 volt system that I have on my home. I hope this helps some of you and I will make another video soon.